a subscriber asked, one of our fellow aliens asked, about snakes and the garden. They were having a problem with it, with rattlesnakes. And if you have rattlesnakes, it's a good sign. Or any kind of snakes that you have a good garden. Sometimes I see uh, garden snakes over here, but uh, with rattlesnakes, you know, there's natural repellents like I explained previously about that being used as a repellent. Uh, th th these plants look fine, but sometimes little, little bugs and things try to bother them, and this is a good repellent for it. And so basically, a good repellent is, you know, a natural repellent, like, you know, mint. It would be cinnamon oil and clove oil and vinegar. Those are some natural remedies you could you know, put together in a spray bottle or something and put it in a certain area. And if there's any twigs and leaves and things in the yard, stuff against a house, that would also help repel it because, you know, you wouldn't want them hiding in certain areas. And basically, they also don't like certain plants, like garlic. I don't think that would be bad for animals. Or a flower I've used called Mary Gold. It's spelled M-A-R-I-G-O-L-D. It's a type of uh, flower. I don't know, you know if animals eat that, they could get sick possibly. Or lemongrass, which animals could possibly get sick on, but I would just probably stick with garlic plants. So those are some plants and some natural repellents for rattlesnakes or any kind of snakes. So just have a clean area where there's not a lot of wood and debris against the house or cluttered in a particular spot. And it may not guarantee that they would permanently leave, but it would help. So cinnamon and clove oil. And you know, mint helps repel insects. And that's more of a problem down here in the south. We had some big you know, roaches and things down here because it's tropical. And during the slave trade, a lot of the, the roaches came from Africa. Like, you know, and yeah, and, and it's here now. Although they have different types, we got the bad ones in America. And they have some that are different colors. But we got the real, you know, weird ones. So, you know, as I said, these are some radishes that are clean, you know, we'll, we'll phrase that, some radishes that are popping up. And when things are watered, it cleans stuff off the leaves when, you get, when it's watered. And these are some other younger ones coming up. And the spinach is coming up very well. The spinach is coming up very well. And this is from a spinach tape. And for some reason, I guess this uh, one was more positioned better in the sun, I guess. Or just the seeds are different. And I've harvested some radishes already, but here are some more popping up. And I kind of cover them with some foliage and some dirt. So the little raccoons and possums don't come around and try to dig them up. And sometimes the raccoons and possums try to have wars with each other and they make a lot of noise at night. But, you know, it's interesting being in the wilderness. You know, some of the uh, broccoli is coming up well, and as I said, just consistently water these things, especially when it gets hot. And depending where you are, of course, Tennessee or up north, it may be a little bit better, but you know, down in the, in the hot weather, you just kind of consistently water them. And it looks like this thing is coming back together, so you know, maybe you won't have to water it as consistent if you're in a, in a different climate, especially if it rains a lot, but really. It's best to water it consistently. And I just, these are a bunch of them in a pile and soon I'm gonna grow some more flowers. And I have some peppers growing and mint and different things coming up as well in different areas that I'll show in future videos. It all just takes time. Like with figs, you just, and grapes, you wait for them to blossom and bear fruit and then ripen but the radishes pop up very quickly. They're very quick and easy to pop up, and to grow, and they pop up easy. But still it takes effort and skill and practice.
and to you know make it on a mound. You make things on a mound, and they pop up. And mint will repel them. And I just put this over here from the other day to uh, make sure the insects are repelled in the areas. But these root plants are usually all right. 